In this video, we are going to see how to create a column in your gradebook. <clears throat> so when you go to your class, if you go to your gradebook, this is normally the screen that you'll see, right? Where you have your assignments showing up here. Now, if you want to see your columns, all you have to do is click this box here next to the row of rows here. You have this little two by two, click it and it'll view in columns, right? You'll get your column view for your, your gradebook. So if you wanted to add, let's say a column for anything really at all, right? But if you wanted to add something for an offline grade, then all you have to do is kind of the same as when you're creating modules, right? Or folders or any, any content in your course that you go between your modules or your folders and you have a little plus sign here. If you go in between your columns, you're going to get that little plus sign. If you click on it, you're going to get some options. You're going to have add a calculation, add an item, add attendance. So again, if you wanted to add an attendance grade or attendance column, you could do it here. Uh, if you wanted to just add an item, you would do it here. Now, when you add an item here, it does give you the options over here of either putting it in a category uh, if you want to select it as a point or a percentage, you can name it. Right. You can hide it from students or make it visible to students. Uh, you can set due dates. You know, if you're going to have something even that's offline, you can still set due dates. Here again, if you're using points, you go ahead and do the points. If you're doing percentages or letter grades, you can set it up as you wish. You can set up how many points you're going to get if it's a maximum points, right? Let's say you want it to be worth 10 points. You would just put 10 there. You can select a category for it. So you have some categories already pre-made here. If you wanted to add a category, then you need to go into the gradebook settings, right? And create a new category in there. But here again, you can create a category for it. And then you can select a description for you. Right? You can just type in description. Right, and you'll you can select a description for it there. Once you save it, notice that you will create, have a new column here named with the title that you selected, and it should be ready for you to put in grades if you want. Okay. Now, as far as creating columns for your actual assignments, there is no need to do this because as soon as you create an assignment, right, or some type of content, right, um, an assessment, a quiz, right, a journal, a discussion, it automatically builds a column for you, right, when you do that. But if you wanted to add a column, right, that's how you can add the column. I hope this helps.